Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. This is a very short video in which I'll show how easy it is to do detailed scientific analysis. This is what subscribers see when they go to app.visitech.ai. For this example, we're going to look at two stations in Massachusetts. Now on the right side of the screen, we have a map of all of the United States Historical Climatology Network stations in Massachusetts. I'm going to zoom in on a couple of them which are close to Boston. Now we're going to look at all the daily maximum temperatures for Blue Hill and Walpole. The temperature records for Blue Hill are brown and the temperature records for Walpole are red. You can see that the thermometer record for Blue Hill is much longer going back to the 1890s, whereas the one at Walpole only began around 1970. I'm just going to zoom in on the common region of the two graphs. I'm going to hover over Blue Hill and now we can see that the average daily maximum temperature there during this interval was 58.2 degrees. And at Walpole, the average daily maximum temperature there was warmer at 60.6 .6 degrees. Now let's calculate the temperature difference between the two series for each day which both of them reported. Difference. Now we have four series on the graph. Blue Hill, Walpole, Walpole minus Blue Hill, and Blue Hill minus Walpole. I don't want to see that one, so I'm just going to exit out. Let's take a closer look at Walpole minus Blue Hill. You can see that there's periods of time when the temperature difference between the two stations was much larger than it is at other times. Let's take a closer look at that by zooming in. Now we can see that on January 1st, 2011, something shifted so that the temperature difference between Walpole and Blue Hill became much larger. So let's take a look at the thermometer data and see what happened on that date. Now it's pretty clear what's going on. After January 1st, 2011, Blue Hill started reporting their temperatures generally a day later than the temperatures reported at Walpole. You can see that during 2010 there was close agreement between the two stations, but beginning in 2011 they started reporting one day apart. You can also see that Blue Hill reported the same temperature on December 31st, 2010 and on January 1st, 2011. So the next question is, does this actually make any difference? To answer that question, I'm going to reset the zoom and only look at the temperature difference series. Now I'm going to reset the zoom one more time. You can see there were very distinct periods of time when the temperature difference between the two stations was much larger than it was at other times. Now let's put a trend line on this to see if it actually affects anything. And the answer is no, the trend line is almost flat. So even though there's these variations in when the temperatures are taken, it doesn't seem to actually affect the temperature record in any meaningful way. That's all I want to cover in this video, but the key point I want to leave you with is that it only took us four minutes to do some very detailed scientific analysis.